Okay, so now we have another example on uh, one sample Z test for proportion. So let's just go directly to the example. So um, a marketing expert for a pasta making company believes that 40% of pasta lovers prefer prefer lasagna. If nine out of if nine out of twenty pasta lovers choose lasagna over the pastas, what can we conclude about the expert's claim? So use a 0 0.05 level of significance okay so the problem um, states that a uh, marketing expert of pasta said that 40 percent of the pasta lovers prefer lasagna so that that, that that is his claim so in a certain survey it is found out that nine out of 20 pasta lovers choose lasagna over pasta so the problem now is what can be concluded about the expert's claim? It, is it true or not? Or it can be refuted or not? So we will, we will go to the usual steps. Okay, so the first one is we need to st state our null hypothesis. So in our null, null hypothesis, we will say that the claim of the, the expert is true. In which we will say that the forty percent of the pasta lover love lasagna or chooses lasagna. Second one is the alternative in which greater so greater than so zero point four percent. So we will say greater than because we expect that it will be higher, so not lower. So in case that um the our Z test will um, will have a lower so meaning um, lower than the one it will be included on the null hypothesis so because 40 percent the, the the marketing expert claimed that 40 percent of those people love pasta so if we we if we if we will have greater so we will just refute the claim of the marketing expert that uh, that it is that 0 0.4 percent or 0. 4 or 40 percent but higher the next one is we will have our level of significance which is the alpha 0 0.05 as given in 4 we will have our uh, decision role and the critical value so we'll just draw again our normal um, normal distribution curve okay so because it is 5 percent so the remaining area will be 95 percent and this will be five percent so it's just not go to later because if you watch during my previous example we will say that 0 0.95 of them will be fall on the critical uh, or the failed to reject region or area so if we were going to our z table so the same one that this will be 1.65 and our 0 0.95 is between 0 0.04 and 0 0.05 so we will have 0 0.045 to get the exact value of 0 0.95 so our z is equal to 1.645 so you just add 1.6 and 0 0.045 so that is 1.645 so our decision rule if our computed z is greater than our z we will reject our null hypothesis if our otherwise so just wrote here otherwise so meaning if it is equal or less than then we will accept our ho okay so we will accept our null hypothesis okay so the fifth step is to compute no so our formula is the computed z is equal to the p hat minus p o over square root of p o q o over n okay so that is small letter n not big so our p hat okay p hat is equal to 9 out of 20 9 over 20 so that is the probability of the sample this will be let's just have our calculator here we will show also the calculator okay 
So that is 9 divided by 20. That will be 0.45 or 45 percent. Okay, so we have 0.45. Our PO that is the claim of the expert that is 40 percent or 0.4 and our QO so this is 1 minus our PO which is equal to 1 minus 0.4 or equal to 0.6 okay so that is now the QO on our end so we have 20 respondents so that is 20 so we will substitute now so this will be 0 0.45 minus 0 0.4 all over square root to so just write our square root bigger so it's 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 all over 20 okay so we will now call on our calculator so we have 0 0.45 okay minus 0.4 over square root of 0.4 times 0.6 all over 20 this is equal to okay, this will just okay like some so the answer is plus, so 0 0.45 0 0.6 0 0.4 okay the answer is 0 0.46 so our z computed z is equal to 0 0.46 okay so if we are going to have our decision okay decision so our Z, C, this is our de decision rule, is not greater than our Z. So if we are going to compare that one in its numerical value, our Z, C, or computed Z is 0 0.46, which is not greater than 1.645. Okay, so therefore our, our decision will reject uh, we will not reject but we will accept our null hypothesis okay so maybe i have covered the thank you okay so it's just uh, so our zz is not equal to z so our computed z score is not equal to z so this is the numerical value therefore we will accept our null hypothesis so our conclusion is that the claim of the expert okay, is true and this is now our this is now our whole answer for this problem okay so thank you for watching this video and as always keep on studying